Hey everybody, got my wife with me again. We're doing some Mandarin chicken salad. Isn't that what you call it? Yeah, Mandarin okay. chicken salad. All right. This is super easy and this is the first part. Cool. We got about three cups of small chopped chicken. And what I did is I took a couple of chicken breasts and I boiled these with a little salt and pepper. That was it. Cooled them off, chopped them up. Okay, and then we're gonna add a cup of chopped up celery. And then we have about two tablespoons of minced onion. Finally minced by T. Roy himself. Finally minced by T. Roy. And we're gonna add two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Uh-oh, looks like we need to squeeze another lemon, honey. I'll take care of that. All right, so we're gonna put two tablespoons of this. And we're gonna put about a half, oh, that didn't fit. About a half a teaspoon of salt. And let's see, we'll get Troy to do one more tablespoon of lemon juice and then we're gonna put, mix all that together, cover it up with some saran wrap and put it in the fridge for about an hour to chill. Okay, so my chicken's been cooling in the kitchen. I mean, in the refrigerator. We've got chicken, celery, onion, and lemon juice, just to recap, and a little salt. Now, to make it the mandarin chicken salad, we're gonna add mandarin oranges. And this is from a can. Mandarin oranges can. And I like to cut them in half. You don't have to. You can make it simple and just do the whole thing. But I like smaller bites, so I like to cut them in half. So we're adding our mandarin chicken and then a cup of grapes and I've quartered my grapes again you can leave them whole whatever you want to do add the grapes and then we're gonna put in about a half a cup of Hellman's real mayonnaise I'm plugging Hellman but you got to go with Hellman to make this so the Hellman's real mayonnaise Okay, then we're going to toss this all together. And next, we're going to add some slivered almonds. Now, earlier, I toasted these almonds. This is about three ounces of almonds. Put them on a cookie sheet, put them in the oven for about 350, 350 degrees. And it's for about a total of eight to 10 minutes, but every two minutes, I shuffle, shuffle them up. I usually don't use my hand, but I'm going to be the one eating this, so it doesn't matter. Um, I use a spoon and just shuffle them around. So now they're nice and toasted, and there's nothing better than a toasted almond. It sure tastes good. It sure does. Add that in. I'm going to stir this up real good, so Troy, can you just come back to me in a minute? Yeah, sure. Be right back. All right. Okay, so I've stirred this up real good, and I'm going to taste it real quick and see if it needs any better seasonings. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna add just a little bit of pepper. I'm a pepper fan, so. And maybe just a little bit more salt. Come on, twist that around a little bit. Okay. Now, I like to eat this on these little wheat crackers. Just put me a little on there. Mmm. That's good, honey. Pretty good. <laughs> but tight zoom on that. in yeah. case you have a company coming over, mm -hmm. like maybe your mother-in-law or something, and you want them to <laughs> let her be impressed by your chicken salad, I took a plate and just put some leaf lettuce around it and a little bunch of grapes to make it pretty. Oh. Yeah. And then you can just take your chicken salad, pour it right in the middle. Cool. It makes for a pretty presentation. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. And then I always just save just a couple of the mandarin oranges at the end. Just the whole ones, just to kind of put around the plate a little bit. So people will know what they're getting. They're getting mandarin chicken salad. Super easy. Mm -hmm. I hope you all enjoy it. Give it a try. It's been fun cooking in the kitchen with Troy today. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>